Hey everyone, welcome to the Italian Alps vlog, more specifically Lago de Sorfis. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Apologize to any Italians out there if I'm not. So let's just start off with it. This is how I found Lago de Sorfis. So as usual, I started off with Google Earth in a 3D view, which is absolutely awesome if you haven't seen it. I knew the general area that I wanted to go to, which was Cortina di Ampezzo, and I'd seen awesome photos from that area before. Zooming in, I found this awesome crater, and I basically thought, I wanna go right there. Then doing a little bit more research, found a road there, and eventually found a route up nearby. So we started off at a little Airbnb. We found it um, in a beautiful area called Piejo, um, just down from Cortina di Ampezzo, just nestled in this little valley it was kind of a rushing river right next to it. Freshest air you've ever smelled. All through Switzerland and Italy, I found it's really beautiful when you're hiking or walking or going pretty much wherever in the countryside. All the cattle and, and horses, they have these bells on the neck and it makes this like kind of bell clinking sound and it's really, it's quite atmospheric and beautiful when you're walking to be hearing these little, you know, horse or, or cattle off in the distance. So we got our fill of horse padding and headed up the trail. Hiking up this trail was almost uh, eerie in its beauty because we were hiking and it was so misty and kind of a little bit rainy. You wouldn't really see any mountains and then all of a sudden like a bit of wind would come past and clear this massive giant just sitting right in front of you. And it was like these, these giants of, of you know granite and, and dolomite just hiding up in the clouds kind of looking down at you. Very beautiful. So we're hiking up further and further and it gets more rocky and narrower. And you might have seen the clip at the beginning of the video. That was the same on the way up. It was like a narrow, narrow mountain sort of uh, pathway. Went around this cliff face with a little uh, metal cable that was bolted in the side of the rock. And it was maybe half a meter, less than half a meter wide. And just a sheer drop all the way down, like hundreds and hundreds of meters on one side. So you sort of sliding your hand along this rail, but it was well worth it. Felt like a little adventurous, or well worth it once we got to the top. So we get to the top of Lago de Sorpis, and it's this weirdly teal, beautiful blue lake that we later found out is usually full um, around springtime, but I think we went in autumn, and so it was pretty much all drained out, but it was still stunning to see the contrast of this, this, this uh, teal lake with all these gray kind of dolomite clay and then the orange trees in the background. It was an absolute stunning thing to go and photograph and I think some of my favorite pictures I've ever taken were from this hike and it was all off the back of Google Maps, go figure. So we walk around for a bit. So keeping in mind that this was like about a six hour round trip hike, we decided to head back before it got too dark um, on the way, snapping some, some of my favorite pictures. And even down towards our car, we saw a funny little um, a deer kind of stag thing pictured here. But um, yeah, I can totally recommend visiting this area once the world is open again. Um, and as with all places, take nothing but photos and leave nothing but footprints. How cheesy was that for an ending? But it's true, treat these places with respect and um, they'll be there for years and years for everyone to enjoy. 
Stay easy guys, stay safe, stay healthy. Catch you later, bye.